NASA's Mariner 10 was a space probe that was launched on November 3, 1973. Its main mission was to study the planet Mercury, but it also made important contributions to the study of Venus. Mariner 10 was the first spacecraft to visit Mercury, and it was able to capture the first close-up images of the planet's surface. It made three flybys of Mercury in 1974 and 1975, and the data it collected helped scientists to learn more about the planet's composition, surface features, and magnetic field. One of the biggest challenges of the Mariner 10 mission was getting the spacecraft to Mercury. The planet is located very close to the Sun, and the extreme heat and gravitational pull made it difficult to get a spacecraft into orbit around the planet. To overcome this challenge, the mission used a series of gravity assists from Venus to change the trajectory of the spacecraft and position it for its flybys of Mercury. Mariner 10 was also able to study Venus during its journey to Mercury. It made a close approach to the planet in February 1974, and the data it collected helped scientists to learn more about the planet's atmosphere, temperature, and surface features. The Mariner 10 spacecraft was equipped with a range of scientific instruments that allowed it to study Mercury in detail. It had a camera that took high-resolution images of the planet's surface, as well as instruments that measured the planet's magnetic field, radiation environment, and composition. One of the most surprising discoveries made by Mariner 10 was that Mercury has a weak magnetic field. This was unexpected, as scientists had predicted that the planet's iron core would produce a much stronger magnetic field. The data collected by the spacecraft helped to refine our understanding of the planet's interior structure and composition. Another important discovery made by Mariner 10 was the presence of a large impact crater on Mercury's surface. The crater, named Calories Basin, is one of the largest impact features in the solar system, and its discovery helped scientists to understand more about the history of the planet and the processes that shape planetary surfaces. The Mariner 10 mission was not without its challenges. During its journey to Mercury, one of the spacecraft's solar panels failed to deploy fully, which affected the amount of power available to the instruments. Despite this setback, the mission was able to continue and achieve many of its scientific objectives. In total, the Mariner 10 spacecraft made three flybys of Mercury, passing within 200 kilometers of the planet's surface on each occasion. The data it collected during these flybys provided a wealth of information about the planet's geology, composition, and magnetic field. The Mariner 10 mission was a significant milestone in the exploration of our solar system. It was the first spacecraft to visit Mercury, and its discoveries helped to revolutionize our understanding of the planet and its place in the solar system. In addition to its scientific achievements, the Mariner 10 mission also helped to pave the way for future space exploration. The mission demonstrated the feasibility of using gravity assists to explore the outer solar system, a technique that has since been used by numerous other missions, including the Voyager and Galileo missions. Today, the data collected by Mariner 10 continues to be studied by scientists around the world. The mission was a remarkable achievement, and it remains an important milestone in the history of space exploration. Overall, the Mariner 10 mission was a major success. It achieved all of its primary scientific objectives, and it helped to open up new frontiers in the exploration of our solar system. The data it collected continues to inform our understanding of the planets and their evolution, and it stands as a testament to the ingenuity and determination of the scientists and engineers who worked on the mission. One of the key challenges of the Mariner 10 mission was developing the spacecraft's trajectory. Due to the complex gravitational interactions between Venus, Earth, and Mercury, it was difficult to design a trajectory that would allow the spacecraft to make multiple flybys of Mercury without running out of fuel or being pulled into the planet's gravity well. The engineers working on the mission had to carefully calculate the spacecraft's trajectory using advanced computer simulations to ensure that it would reach its destination. The Mariner 10 spacecraft was also equipped with a particle detector, which allowed scientists to study the solar wind in the plasma environment around Mercury. By analyzing the data collected by this instrument, researchers were able to better understand the ways in which the solar wind interacts with planetary magnetic fields, and how this interaction affects the formation and evolution of planetary environments. One of the most notable features of Mercury's surface is its heavily cratered terrain. Mariner 10 was able to capture high-resolution images of these craters, allowing scientists to study their size, shape, and distribution. By studying these features, researchers were able to gain insights into the history of impacts on Mercury and the ways in which these impacts have shaped the planet's surface. In addition to studying Mercury and Venus, the Mariner 10 spacecraft also provided valuable data on the interplanetary environment. The mission's observations of the solar wind in the plasma environment around the planets helped to advance our understanding of the Sun and its effects on the solar system. 
Despite its success, the Mariner 10 mission also had some limitations. Because the spacecraft was only able to study one side of Mercury, it was difficult to gain a complete understanding of the planet's geology and composition. Additionally, the mission was limited by the technology available at the time, and newer spacecraft such as Messenger have since provided more detailed observations of Mercury. Despite these limitations, the Mariner 10 mission remains an important milestone in the history of space exploration. The data it collected provided valuable insights into the nature of the inner solar system, and it helped to pave the way for future missions to explore these fascinating and mysterious worlds. The Mariner 10 mission also had a lasting impact on the field of planetary science. By demonstrating the feasibility of using spacecraft to explore the outer reaches of our solar system, the mission helped to inspire a new generation of scientists and engineers to pursue careers in space exploration. Today, NASA continues to explore the mysteries of the solar system with a range of robotic spacecraft, including the Mars rovers, the Juno mission to Jupiter, and the New Horizons mission to Pluto and beyond. Each of these missions builds on the legacy of the Mariner 10 mission, and helps to expand our understanding of the cosmos in new and exciting ways. In conclusion, the Mariner 10 mission was a groundbreaking achievement in the history of space exploration. By successfully reaching and studying Mercury, the mission helped to expand our understanding of the solar system and paved the way for future missions to explore these fascinating and mysterious worlds. Today, the data collected by Mariner 10 continues to inform our understanding of the planets and their evolution, and it remains an important milestone in the history of planetary science. One of the most challenging aspects of the Mariner 10 mission was the spacecraft's communication system. Because the spacecraft was so far away from Earth, it took several minutes for signals to travel between the two, which made it difficult to operate the spacecraft in real time. To overcome this challenge, the mission's engineers developed a sophisticated system of computer programs that allowed the spacecraft to operate autonomously, making decisions based on pre-programmed instructions. Another key aspect of the Mariner 10 mission was its imaging system. The spacecraft was equipped with a TV camera and a multispectral scanner, which allowed it to capture images and data in different wavelengths of light. By analyzing these images, scientists were able to gain insights into the composition and structure of Mercury's surface. One of the most interesting discoveries made by the Mariner 10 mission was the presence of a magnetic field around Mercury. Prior to the mission, it was believed that Mercury did not have a magnetic field, but the spacecraft's data revealed the presence of a weak, but measurable field. This discovery helped to advance our understanding of the ways in which planets generate magnetic fields. The Mariner 10 mission also provided valuable insights into the chemical composition of Mercury's surface. By analyzing the data collected by the spacecraft's instruments, researchers were able to identify several elements and minerals present on the planet, including iron, sulfur, and magnesium. In addition to its scientific objectives, the Mariner 10 mission also had important political implications. At the time of the mission, the United States was engaged in a Cold War space race with the Soviet Union, and the success of the Mariner 10 mission was seen as a major victory for American technological prowess. One of the most challenging aspects of the Mariner 10 mission was its long duration. The spacecraft was launched in November 1973 and completed its final flyby of Mercury in March 1975, meaning that the mission lasted more than a year and a half. During this time, the spacecraft traveled more than 700 million kilometers and made three flybys of Mercury and one of Venus. The Mariner 10 mission was also notable for being the first spacecraft to make use of a gravity assist maneuver. This technique involves using the gravitational pull of a planet to alter the trajectory of a spacecraft, allowing it to conserve fuel and travel further. The success of this maneuver on the Mariner 10 mission helped to establish it as a standard technique in space exploration. One of the challenges of exploring Mercury is its extreme temperature fluctuations. Because the planet is so close to the Sun, its surface can reach temperatures of more than 400 degrees Celsius during the day, while at night it can drop to minus 170 degrees Celsius. To survive these extreme conditions, the Mariner 10 spacecraft was equipped with a sophisticated thermal control system, which helped to regulate its temperature and protect its sensitive instruments. Another important aspect of the Mariner 10 mission was its role in advancing our understanding of the geological processes that shape planets. By studying the features of Mercury's surface, such as its craters, mountains, and valleys, scientists were able to gain insights into the ways in which these features are formed and how they change over time. Despite the challenges faced by the Mariner 10 mission, it was an overwhelming success. The data collected by the spacecraft provided valuable insights into the nature of the inner solar system and helped to lay the groundwork for future missions to explore these fascinating and mysterious worlds. 
Today, the legacy of the Mariner 10 mission lives on in the ongoing efforts to explore and understand the planets of the solar system. By building on the knowledge and technology developed during this pioneering mission, scientists and engineers continue to push the boundaries of what is possible in space exploration, and to uncover new insights into the nature of the cosmos.